In this video we're gonna go through some of the basic functions of Final Cut Pro and I'll also show you how you can use some of these basic functions to create and edit your very own videos. What's up everyone, my name is Chad and welcome to Epidemic Media, the channel that is all about bringing you all the tips, tricks and tools that you need to become a better video creator. So if that's something that interests you, remember to hit that subscribe button so that you can be kept up to date with all of the latest uploads from this channel. So let's jump into the real reason that you're here and get into Final Cut Pro so that we can go over some of those basic editing techniques. Okay, so when you open up your Final Cut Pro, this is your layout that you'll see, your workspace. If you're not too familiar with what everything is and where everything is within your workspace, I do recommend clicking on the link up in the corner and checking that video out first. I did make a video previously explaining the workspace and layout of Final Cut Pro, so check that out and then come back here. If you are familiar with the Final Cut Pro workspace, then we can just move on. The first thing that you want to do when starting a new project is creating a new library. And you do that by clicking on File going to new and when you click on library that'll open up a new window where you can choose where you want to save your library to whether it's to your desktop or to an external hard drive the library is not the only thing that you will need to create once you've created your library you will want to create an event within that library which is done in the exact same way file new click on event and when this window pops up it just gives you a few options as to where you'd like to save the event the name of the event a few video settings right over here, so your format, your resolution, and your rate. For this particular video, I will be doing 1080p. The resolution will be 1920 by 1080 and 30 frames per second frame rate. For the rendering, I just leave it on Apple ProRes 422. It seems to work just fine for me. When you've done all of that, you will want to click OK. Now, I've already done that previously, like I said, so this is my library and this was my event. Once you've created your event, you want to import the clips that you want to use in your video. And you can do that pretty simply by clicking this arrow right over there. That allows you to import any media from wherever you have it stored into your Final Cut Pro so that you can start working on it. And once you've done that, it will look something like that. Once you're done with all your importing, you can finally start moving things into your timeline so that you can start working on the video. So these are the clips that I probably will end up using in the final video and this is the soundtrack that I'll be using. If you're looking for great music that you want to use in your videos that are copyright free, I definitely recommend checking out Epidemic Sound. I will leave a link down in the description. Have a look, they have thousands and thousands of songs that you can choose from. It's not just songs, but also sound effects. And when you click on that link and if you sign up, you can try it for free for 30 days. So definitely go and check them out. So to move clips down into your timeline from your browser is actually really simple. All you do is click on the clip that you want to use, click again and hold it, and then drag and drop it down into your primary timeline. Now you can also select only certain parts of a clip. So let's say I only wanted not the entire clip of the sunrise. All you do is click on the edge. These double arrows will show up. Hold your cursor down and scroll until the point that you want to use and you can do the start and end time of that clip. Once you have them, click and hold and drop them into the timeline. This particular video is actually going to be pretty short. It's just going to run up until the end of the soundtrack. So I'm going to try and fix everything so that it all fits within that 18 second soundtrack. If you want to make your workflow just a little bit faster, there are shortcuts that you can use in Final Cut Pro. I will leave a sheet, so check that out down in the description. And it is actually a free download, so the first thing I want to do is shorten the sunrise clip right over here. And I kind of want it to start just as the sun starts peeking out. And the tool I'm going to use is the blade tool. Now one of the shortcuts that I mentioned earlier is if you hit B on your keyboard, you'd see that your arrow tool has now changed to a little blade right over there. And if you click anywhere on the clip, it pretty much slices it. And that way I can now just select this one and delete it right over there. And I lost my soundtrack as well, which is brilliant. So now I've got the clip right over there and I just want to speed it up quite a bit actually. And you do that by using your retiming option. So select your clip, head over to the speedometer right over there and speed it up four times, four times. The next clip, the second one, if you notice in the bottom left corner of this clip, my finger actually got in the way of the camera lens. 
However, you can fix this by using your transform tool. So you click on your clip, find the spot in your timeline that you want to work with. So I'll choose right about there. This way, when I move my arrow tool away, it kind of freezes it so you can see exactly what you're working with. Then you've got your transform option right over here. You can use it in your inspector or alternatively, you can click on transform and this little box would come up. If I go to scale, this will make the picture bigger and then I can use the window itself to move it to exactly where I need it and then click done. And if you've noticed, this clip has a little bit of sound in it and that might interrupt the actual music. So in order to mute it, you come up to this speaker icon and you use the volume control right over there. Scroll it all the way down. And now what we can do is add some transitions so that one clip flows a little bit better into the other instead of just having these hard cuts in between each clip. To add a transition, go to this icon in the corner, the transitions. So for the first transition, I would want this clip to fade in from black. So the transition that I'm going to use, if I go over to dissolves, fade to color and drop it right over there. So now it'll fade from a black screen into the video. If you'd like to make a transition longer or shorter, click on the edge and hold, and you can just drag right over there. So I'll just shorten that one up just a little bit, and I'm going to add in the rest of my transitions. And for the final transition, I'm going to fade it out, but instead of fading it out into black, I'll fade it out into white. And the way you change the color of your transition from black to white is you select it, and you come over into color and change the color to whatever color you want it to be. Once all of that is done, you can adjust the color of each clip. And how you do that is select the clip that you want to work with, come over to your inspector into this little triangle. That is your color inspector and it'll open up your color boards. And in here you can make changes to the color, the saturation and the exposure. And when you're done with that, if you want to put some text into your video as well, you can add some titles. Click over here and this will bring up a range of different titles. I'm just going to go with something basic like the fade. And to edit the text, you just click it and select it. Come back over into your inspector, select these lines and you can change your text to whatever you want it to be. And then one last adjustment that I'm going to make in this particular video is to the soundtrack. So I do want the soundtrack to fade out instead of just stopping. And how you do that is selecting your song or your audio, clicking on this little button and dragging it. Now the song won't stop immediately. It'll kind of fade out as the video fades to white. Once you're happy with everything, it is time to export your final video. Coming up to file, clicking share, 1080p because that's what I selected earlier. Go into settings and under the settings option, just leave it on H.264. That's what I usually leave it on. It works just fine. The resolution 920 by 1080, which is exactly what I had it as earlier. And when you click next, it'll allow you to choose where you want to save the video to. So this is how the final video came out. And those are the basics. Final Cut Pro is not that hard to understand actually and the more you work on it, the more proficient and the better you'll actually get it the more time you spend on it and just play around with the different controls and everything. If there's anything that you'd like to see covered on Epidemic Media, remember to leave a comment down in the description and I'd also like to know what were the problems you might have faced when switching over from whatever software you were working on to Final Cut Pro. I really hope this video has brought you some value. If it did, please remember to hit that thumbs up, give it a like and remember to please consider subscribing to Epidemic Media so that you can be kept up to date with all of the latest videos that will be coming your way. Thanks for watching.